All right, what is up today? I got this right here. It might look like a cartoon or something, but it's just Photoshop and a little bit of Lightroom. Okay, I have already removed this background with a pen tool here, so I'm just gonna go on from here and need to make this a little bit sharper. So just select the camera raw filter and bring up the sharpening and details. Now I wanna fix this, this edge around him. So just gonna create a new solid color here. And select right mouse, select the mask. And just go around the edge to get all that fur back. Like that, and drop the shift edge a little bit. I've got this part. So select the mask again, and the same here. All right, now I want to fix all this fur. So create a new layer on top of it, create the clipping mask, select the general brush, bring opacity a little bit down and pick almost white as a color. So we can fix all these edges. It needs to be a little bit different color here so a little bit darker same goes for this it's a little bit yellowish so i'm just selecting the color and with the color picker i'll just press there and bring it a little bit up and just brush it same goes for this side it's a little bit blue All right, that looks good. All right, now I wanna make all these layers, one layer, so I'll just create a new layer on top of it. Select all three layers, press Control Command E. So we have one layer and let's make a smart object here and create a new file. So this 260 to 700. Drag that to the new file. Let's resize this. And I really like this image, so I'm gonna use this for the background. So I'll copy it and paste it. I think these clouds fit very well with this fur color of this fox. So let's see how we can make this. Gonna leave it like that. Okay, if we try to make this smaller, and I wanna get more focus on this fox, so I'm gonna blur the background. But first, need to make a smart object so we can always adjust it later. So I'll filter blur, Gaussian blur. This was the original and look something like that. Just 
going to leave it like that for now. All right, so I got this butterfly I'm going to add here. And let's turn this around. So he's facing the fox. And don't forget to make a smart object. Make it smaller. I want to get rid of all that orange. It's way too bright for this composition. So create a new situation layer. Drop the situation. Right, this is our butterfly. Now I want to create a little bit of shadow on this side. So I'm going to... Let's put this in the folder also. This is our fox. I'm going to create a curves layer here. And just drop this a little bit. Like that. Now press the on your keyboard to make your colors white to black. And select the mask. Press Command to control backspace. To remove it and just select the white brush and bring it back again to this side. It's a little bit too much now, so just gonna edit these curves. Just a little bit extra shadow because I want some lighting here. And maybe also here behind this pause. You can even drop the opacity here. Because we want we want to have that fur white and not like it's gray or something. Just a little bit of shadow. Here shadows. Behind them. And also a little bit here. All right, that is fine. And let's see. Don't need this anymore. And I got all these particles. Looks like snow, so just gonna copy one of them. Put this in the file, create a smart object, and change the branding mode to screen. So you have like this snow going on. Maybe that other one is better. Let's see. Or can we use both to drop one opacity or else it will be a little bit too messy, so I'm just gonna use it like that and remove some from his face so we won't ruin the face. Maybe also these. I want to edit this background a little bit so it won't be boring. So I'm just gonna move this slightly up so we can see a little bit of that grass in the background. I can even try to make this smaller. Something like that. And I have these flowers. So. Remove that and copy it, paste it above all the other layers, Let's make a smart object and get rid of that pink, make it really big and blur it out. Something like that. Let's put some here and let's put this in a folder flowers. Duplicate this. If 
flipped horizontal. Just trying to see what's best composition. I'm just playing around with this. Maybe even less color. Okay, I think that is fine. Maybe a bit like that. So it won't ruin the image, but just a little detail to create some depth here. Let's make this fox better because he's way too bright now. So just gonna create a brightness contrast layer and drop this, this contrast all the way down say to around 80 now I want to make some areas lighter again so I'm just gonna select the mask of it grab a brush and make sure you select black and make like these sides lighter again because we have lighting on on this side so just gonna make these oh, lighter again. Drop the here, maybe smaller. You can always drop the opacity. Drop this ear here. Just don't make the brush too big. And probably also some areas on this branch. Oh, these areas. Drop this here on this face. Good. And if you mess it up, just use the black brush or the white brush to remove it again. Can make some areas really light, so like this.
All right, that is fine. And kind of messed it up here. Need to fix his face and this part here a little bit too much. Let's not do it there. And just grab a white brush to fix it all. So some parts you might brush too much, so I'm just gonna remove it again like that. I did it a little bit too much on his face, so I'm just gonna move some here. Right, that's better. Maybe also this ear a little bit less. Dead. All right, I'm gonna do some final adjustments here and run this in, in Lightroom. All right, that is fine. I'm gonna. All right, I got this into Lightroom now. As you can see, I disabled the the snow snow layers. It was a little bit too messy, so I'm just gonna leave that out for now. And let's see. Pick like this one, six. So I'm just gonna use this and. Edit this a little bit. Okay, don't want to have it too bright, but it actually looks pretty cool with all the colors. 
but it's a little bit too heavy for me so I'm just gonna leave it with less colors and I think this is this is okay I'm gonna export this and open up in Photoshop again so back in Photoshop again this is the export from Lightroom so I'm just copying that and paste it here so this is before Lightroom and this after looks a lot better and we can let's see we can do some final adjustments here a bit of color balance and some curves Just play around with the settings of the curves until you get something that you like. Right, I think this is done. We can always bring back these snow particles if you want. But I'll just leave them out. I think this looks better, looks cleaner. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.